So here we are at the penis temple. Penis temple. Well, look, look at this, look. The grand day of all cell teachers. I never thought I'd be in a trout farm in southern Peru. You got any uh, any hobbies at all? Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Yay, justice is restored. So, what do you want for lunch? You can have the trusha. You can have the trusha. Or maybe the trusha. Okay, how about the trusha? Trusha? <laughs> Banana. Oh yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. So long, so good. Here's our very first Chiquito Pero. There he is, look. So, we're in Plaza de Armas. Anytime you see a main square, in pretty much any Peruvian city, guaranteed it'll be called Plaza de Armas. And here we are, outside of the old cathedral. Nice, isn't it? And here are my friends, look. <laughs> yeah, lots of history here. And there's a, a phallus museum as well, well a phallus temple, which we'll check out. I think they have 83 or 86 phalluses, so that's going to be exciting as well. Look at this. It's not Quechua, it's not I. Okay, so question. What does this say? Could be, yeah, it could be Latin. So, there's an old door here, look, it's been boarded up. But it's the year before, Tupac Amaru the second was separated by four horses. There's some history here with him when he's building up his rebellion to get back at the Spanish. The Spanish were too fortified, they were too secure. It wasn't happening. But there is a doorway, look. Look at that. What are they? Oh. Yeah, anytime you see a locked door, it makes you want to look inside. Ow. Okay, what's inside? Old archway. I, I think a top. So, wherever you end up in Peru, as well as a Plaza de Armas, you'll see a, a football pitch. Usually the football pitches are really nice. Oh, unsure. I think you might be okay. That looks like the first dog I had. Oh, it's a nice paro. There's a paro number two coming in, look. So you'll see the you'll see the doggo and you'll see a football pitch. Sometimes the football pitch is better than the town itself I've seen. Oh he wants to play. Hola Pedro. Look at that. We have some company now. We have our company on our tour. Oh he's peeing. Oh it's a girl, it's a girl dog. 
So I found a little lookout point. You can look out over the lake towards the mountains. Look at this. Perhaps it's more recent, but they kind of use the architecture of the outside of the cathedral. But have a look at this. It's nice, isn't it? Amazing. I remember when I said uh, they have the football stadiums, the soccer stadiums, and usually they're really good, sometimes better than the town themselves. Look at that one. What a cracker. So look at how this is constructed, look. They've got pretty much mud in here. You've got like a hay as like an aggregate to kind of hold it together. And then it's kind of just plastered over, look. And this road here leads to Bolivia. Only two hours away. You see on top of this roof here, they have all these kind of things that look like sunburn. Well, they are water heaters. The water runs along them, heats it up using the, using the sun. You get your hot water. Not bad, is it? Check this out. There they are, look. Pariwanas. It apparently looks like a flamingo, but it's not a flamingo. Oh, they're just chilling there, look. Just chilling in the wild. So, we're back at the cathedral. And it's open. It's open more than Cusco Cathedral. Look at that. Let's see. Is that a toilet? Shaped like a... Look at that. It's a toilet shaped like a, a vase of some sort. This is a cemetery, huh? But it's like London. The men can pee pee. But the women... The women? Wow, they're in trouble. Look, it's locked. Yep. Wow. Oh, look at that, look. It's like a jar. Look at him. Interesting toilet. Uh -huh. Hola, sheep. What's Spanish for sheep? Ovejita. Ovejita. Oveja. 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 Hello. Oh, okay. Here's my offering. It's a peace offering. No? Okay, he's not convinced. Maybe I'll throw it for later. Hip. There. Hello. I come in peace. Incan sheep. Maybe it's a Quechua sheep. What are you doing to that poor sheep? No. I don't think he wants the grass. Pretty much everything in this region. You're going to see a lot of ruins. Maybe 100, 200, 300 years old, maybe 500, all the way back to the, uh, the Incans. But um, you can certainly see a lot of the same architecture that we saw in Machu Picchu. Down here, for example. Look at that. Very similar. But look at this view of Lake Titicaca from up here. Amazing, isn't it? We're coming into a fish farm. There's two soles to come in. We're going to check it out, see what it's like. But I've been told some information. So, Puno is divided. Not how you think, but the language. On the north side, they speak Quechua. The south side, where we are now, Aymara. So if we meet some locals, chances are they'll speak Aymara. Pretty good, isn't it? Okay, we're ready to feed some trusha, or should I say totora? Haha. <laughs> Who's gonna feed me? Ah, uh, here you go. Here's some friskies. 
So we're here, we're on a trout farm in southern Peru. If you looked at your life, well, if I looked at my life, maybe even a year ago, I never thought I'd be in a trout farm in southern Peru. Life has a way sometimes. We have trout food. It looks like cat food. Maybe you can bring your own. But uh, one saw, we can feed the trout. Now trout, trout were actually introduced into the Lake Titicaca region from Canada. Canada brought some trout over. I don't know the reason behind it, but maybe they breed quite fast and provides a good source of nourishment for the locals. But yeah, this trout farm is used for study. Study of the trout and conservation. But uh, have a look, look. It's owned by the university. I get him. I imagine he'll be moved to a, a bigger, a bigger tank at some point. Yeah, look at that. So we can feed these trout, I think. Yeah. So we have to choose which trout to feed. Look at him. Well, oh, hello. A big old trout. Okay. Yeah, and there's, a, I guess they're all the, the breeding ponds, whatever you want to call them. Where all the trout make babies. I imagine they get fished out and, uh, yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Good old trout farm. Let's, uh, let's feed one of these guys a little uh, little rabbit turd. Come on, let's get your nest quick. Let's go. There it is. Eat it, eat, eat. Okay, try again. Let's wave my hand up here. Hello. Okay, go. Get the nest quick. Wow. Well, that was quick. He's hungry. <laughs> wow. What's your story then? You got any uh, any hobbies at all? <laughs> any uh, any goals? I gave him a nest quick look. It's right there, but he's he's kind of thinking about life right now. What his dreams? What his ambitions? Maybe. Why are you filming me, Gringo? <laughs> yeah, alone. that's what he's thinking. Okay, let's go. Ready? Go, go, go. Go, Trusha, go, Trusha, go to Toro. <laughs> All right. Let's feed the big boy. Come on, big boy. No, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. There he is. Look. You're big for a reason. Come on, I know you don't skip a meal. Look at him go. I am the Trusha puppet master. Whoa ho ho! Okay, go! Eat, eat, eat! Give it to me, give it to me! <laughs> wow, they demolished it. Oh. <laughs> the dog was rounding up the cattle, look. Like. I get that. Come on, doggy, do your job. No cow. The other way. Oh, that unruly, look. Come on, dog. Correle a la verga. Hay que ayudarle. Se le escapan las vacas. Dog, do your job, huh? Look at that. Oh, look. Hey, justice is restored. Yeah. She's a master pack Yeah. Trisha, Trisha, Trisha. Knock the door. Yeah, knock on the door. There's actually a restaurant behind there. I don't know how they got in. But I think they made another door down there. Look, there she is. Look at this church, look. I feel like if they rang the bell, the whole thing might explode. Look at that. Wow. But anyway, we're coming up to the, uh, the phallus temple now, the penis temple. Uma Halsu, it means hotel in Aymara. And then on the back, you get the Spanish version. Those sneaky Aymarans. 
So here we are at the penis temple. Penis temple. Look at this bloody hell. They charged me. Uh, they charged me six soles. Look, and the the national is three. Unbelievable. I thought I was from Cajamarca, and she started laughing. So it doesn't work. What is that? Oh, Totoro. That's what the Totoro boats look like. Look, look at that. Ready? Go on an adventure. What? Oh, okay. I'm gonna get my money back slowly. Look. Look, look. Ten cents. So, the penis temple. Here we are. There's some llamas over there. I don't know if you can see them. They're just chilling out, staring at us. There they are. We'll go say hello to those later. Oh yeah, it's a little uh, little cage area. You your gift shops there. You get your penis there, look. Look at that. Wow. So this is what we get for six solars. Unbelievable. Might as well touch it. Hit. Wow. This is the small one. There is another one that is more bigger. Salchicha Grande? Yep. Uh oh. I have one free. There is the Salchicha Grande. Whoa, it has a piercing. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> a lot of them have been uh, circumcised, I suppose. But look at this, look. The grande of all salchichas. The grand salchicha. Ow. That looks like it hurts. He should see a doctor. <laughs> wow. Okay, look at this. Are you enjoying the penis temple? Yes? Okay, oh, look. <laughs> so he says, women would sit on here. So you're going to sit on here? What? You, sh you should sit on here. Why? It represents fertility. Why? Okay, Why go and climb on. Oh, let's go. Go on. Let's go. go to the bigger it's only an arm. It will grow back. What? Your arm will grow back. It's fine. Okay, ho hop on. Um, okay, so this is going um, to sit uh, in the penis. <laughs> Well, that was effort, that was. How is the salchicha grande? <laughs> oh. All right, that's an awesome video. All king of sales. Uh huh. A ver, se está estirando para que todo eso le entre. Eso. Vámonos. A ver. A ver. A ver, di, me gusta. <laughs> so the scientists they say that the stones were rearranged at a later time you know for tourism looks a bit weird doesn't it but the locals no, the locals argue the locals say hey no it's always been like this what are you talking about so there's a little bit of an argument between the scientists and the locals but it is what it is Look at all those penises. <laughs> Moy penis. Okay. Apparently these llamas, uh, they don't like people. Yeah, but maybe they don't like uh, El Gringo, I'm not sure. What will he do? Spit at me? Or will he poop on me or something? Nope, okay, there's the distance. Okay, I found the llama distance. It's about five meters. Look at that, it's a llama standoff. Does he look mad? Oh, he's yawning, look at that. Does a llama yawn? What does a mad llama look like? What does a happy llama look like? So... What do you think of the penis temple? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Approved? Approved. And for only three solas. So, Walt was telling us 
There he is, look. He's our, he's our official and official tour guide. He knows everything. He was saying way back when, how long ago was it? When Inca's people time. put the chicha on their head. Inca's time. Inca time. 15th yeah. cent century. The women, they put a, a glass, was it? Tas? Yep. Glass of chicha. Of chicha on their head. Not sal chicha. Chicha. Not sal chicha. <laughs> chicha. And if the chicha fell this way, the then no bueno. No, no wawa. No wawita. <laughs> but if it goes down the front, wawita grande. Lots of wawitas. It's a, a sign of fertility, way back when. The chicha goes this way, mucho babies. This way, no bueno. Interesting. Look at the souvenirs. What's this? <laughs> naughty, naughty Inca. Yeah, ma. Why, what do you do here, huh? I just... I just realized they're not tied to anything. A free range llama is like. So, what do you want for lunch? You can have the trusha. You can have the trusha. Or maybe the trusha. Okay, how about the trusha? Trusha? Trusha, trusha. <laughs> I think they like trout here. What do you think? They like a bit of trout. Look at this restaurant we're in. We're going to the top. Wow, they like their trusha here. Okay, we're going to the top. Let's have a look at the top. They got the gas look. They get that delivered and they take away the empty ones and bring in the new ones. Oh, look at this ladder. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna get a good view of old, uh, the whole town. Forgot where we were actually. Where are we? Be careful here. Okay. Careful. Oh. Yeah. If you're ducking, then I'm gonna have to seriously duck. Oh my god. It's five feet tall, I think, this roof. Look at this. But look. We can see the whole main square from up here. Look. Plaza de Armas. But I never knew that that bush had a face in it. Look at this. <laughs> wow. So, we have chunya soup. Look at that. Special potato. Looks nice. And we're ordering some fried cheese. And uh, guess what she's getting? She saw all those poor Trusha swimming around and then she got hungry. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> it made her hungry. So, well, they recommended the fried cheese. Yeah. I was thinking like little fingers, and then I get this huge omelette of fried cheese on top of uh, what are these potatoes called? Oh, good. Uh, we get some habas, habas, salad, uh, boiled corn, boiled corn, yeah. Inca corn, and this one is chunya. Junior. Ah, yeah, that's it. The special potato, the junior. Look at that. And she has a uh, trusha, of course. Look at his sad face. Look. Why? Why you eat me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Pure fried cheese. So, Wode was teaching me in the ways of the uh, the junior potato. There he is, look, a man of knowledge. He was saying, well, this is how it starts out, your average white potato, you know. 
However, the tunio here, they removed the starch from there. All of the starch, you can see it's uh, very different. I thought it was a different type of potato, but no, no, it's not. So to survive the harsh winters when the crops, you know, don't really grow, it's too cold, they preserve the potato by removing the starch. What they do is extract that, let it dry off, you know, perhaps put it on a rooftop in the sun. And eventually you come out with something like this. And it lasts a lot longer than your average potato. And with chunyo you can make that um, chairo, chairo soup. The soup we had at the start of uh, this segment, it's made with this. They remove the skin, uh, compress all the potato, you know, and thicken the soup like this. And this is the uh, chairo soup, soup made with uh, chunyo. And we had this in Cusco earlier as well. And yeah, it's really popular in the region, but yeah, very interesting. Yeah, somebody can smell the food, look. Look at this. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the time in, uh, in good old Trusha. Chiquito. Chiquito. It's a nice little city, isn't it? We had a good time, met some peros, saw the cathedral. And even ate some fried cheese, a fried cheese disc. We learned about potatoes, different potatoes. And even saw a flamingo. There's not a flamingo. Pariwana. Pariwana. Uh, pariwana. We even saw a pariwana and a dead parrot. Okay, anyway, hope you enjoyed yourselves. Take care. Hey, look, even the mountains approve of this video. Approved. <laughs>